Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to show you the RGB GTIA upgrade for the Atari XL, XE and the 5200 machine. The upgrade is also known as Sofia. It was developed by Jacek Zuk from Poland, also known as a Simius on Atari age. And this upgrade will allow us to output RGB video out of the Atari computer. The upgrade plugs into the GTIA socket. We will unplug the GTIA chip out of the socket. We will put it on top of the Sophia upgrade and plug the Sophia where the GTIA is. This has two connectors. The right connector is to do firmware upgrade. The left connector is actually our RGB output. We were using a cable that arrived with the upgrade. This cable plugs into the Sophia upgrade and this is our RGB output. The cable also have an extra wire to plug the audio into our co uh, connector. So we will connect this extra wire into the second pin of the left from the RF connector. This is actually where the audio comes out from. So we will connect this wire here to allow us also to get audio output. There are two versions to the Sophia upgrade. One that is a, a SCART. So I got a SCART cable with the upgrade and there is one that is component so you will get a component cable with this upgrade. The cable will plug into the other side of the connector here and that will go into our screen. So first what we will do, we're going to take the Sophia upgrade and we're going to just connect the RGB out cable to the uh, Sophia upgrade. And we're going to take out the PAL GTIA out of the socket and we're going to put it inside the SOFIA board. So just going to gently press this in and we're going to take the SOFIA and insert it into the GTIA socket. So that's basically, that's how would we install the Sophia RGB video upgrade. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the wire into the second pin of the RF for audio. And we have the RGB output where we will connect the cable here and that will go to the TV. Now, um, we can mount uh, the connector on the side here or uh, if you're going to remove the RF we can put it instead of the RF connector uh, but I'm going to leave it outside right now I'm not going to mount drill hole I'm not going to drill any hole in my Atari I'm just going to leave this connector outside so let's close and uh, put the keyboard back in and let's close the Atari and connect it to the screen and see the performance of the Sophia upgrade. We connected the Sophia upgrade to the GTIA socket and put the GTIA on top. We connected the flat cable, the RGB output out of the Sophia upgrade into the SCART cable and the SCART cable is connected to the screen on the back of the screen. We have put back the keyboard, so we're going to close, and this is the upgrade. On the right side here, it's actually the Antonia 4 megabyte memory upgrade that is also made by Jacek Zook, and it was uh, reviewed on, a, on another video that I have on my channel. But we are just going to show the option for the, uh, the abilities of the Sophia upgrade. Now I did not connect the audio yet, I'll do it later. 
So right now I'm going to just to close my 600 Excel computer right now and switch on the monitor and let's see the video that we get. Let's switch on the Atari computer. You noticed that when we switching on the Atari computer, the reading prompt is uh, in a color of yellowish green. And that's because in the GTIA RGB video output, the color of uh, Playfield uh, 1 is not related to the background. In the normal Atari GTIA, the color of the text is related to the background text. So you can only change the luminance. And every time we, ch we want to change the color of the text in high res, graphic 0 or graphic 8, we have to change the background uh, color. In the GTA A, the color of the text is not uh, correlated to the background. So if I'm going to uh, type and change the color of uh, Playfield uh, uh, 1, I can change the color of the text. And the background color is can be changed independently to another color. While uh, in the normal GTIA, uh, I cannot do that. And the reason that you do see a yellowish green color, that's because the value that is stored in the color play field one by default is uh, 202. And that is the color of this yellowish uh, green um, and again if I'm going to change the color to uh, another I can go ahead and change the color of the text and it's not related now to this Atari I connected both the RGB video through the SCART output and the composite output to the AV so I can go ahead and switch the screen into AV mode and you can see that in the normal composite mode of course the image the text is not so sharp as in the uh, RGB even though I have the super video mode uh, installed in this uh, Atari computer but you cannot change the color of the text You can only change the luminance. The color is related to the uh, background. So that's why when you go into the RGB video, you can actually have an extra color in high res uh, mode. Let's go back and switch into the composite, sorry, into the uh, RGB video, into SCART. Okay, and let's try and load some software to demonstrate the video quality. So I'm going to load software out of the Ultimate cartridge. And let's try with some um, with some software. So I have here a cartridge image of the 80 column S80 column cartridge. It's 80 column display. Now, uh, when using it on a normal Atari, let's switch back into the uh, composite uh, output. You can see that it's very hard to read 80 column. This is a standard 80 column uh, characters font. It's very hard to read them uh, in the normal composite. Um, they are blurry and you can see a lot of uh, artifacts but when you switch to SCART it's nice and clean and uh, very easy uh, to read let's boot the cartridge you can type text You can do 80 column text very easily when the image is sharp and clear. Let's try another, another thing. Let's try and load the game.
And again, you can see the clarity, the sharpness of the image, uh, the colors that are um, sharp. And when the game now will rotate between the demo screens, you can see that the image is very clean and nice. Let's try and look for another game. Let's try and run a um, high res game. Connect the joystick here. Again, this is game that use high res graphic. And you can see the uh, sharpness of the image. It's going to try and enter the game. And you can see how nice and clean the image is. So I'm going to switch into the composite. You can see that the image is not so sharp and clean. Okay, let's try another Try another uh, demo. And hopefully you can see how uh, how clean, how Im nice the image is, how sharp it is. Now you can scale this image or this RGB into HDMI by using a SCART or a component into HDMI uh, upscaler. Those cost about $25 on eBay. And I already ordered one to test. Uh, and I've seen it done in other machines that have a RGB output that are using those adapter to scale up into HDMI. So uh, I'm going to get one and I will uh, post some pictures how the HDMI image looks up and it should look uh, similar to that. The only advantage is that you can use monitor that accept HDMI. Uh, that's it. This is the Sophia RGB uh, output for the Atari. Very nice, clean image. You can play games uh, or program software uh, with a very sharp image. That's all. And I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. And until next time, enjoy your Atari.